Welcome to our channel. Today we're breaking down one of the most groundbreaking white papers ever written, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. This document sparked a global revolution, introducing Bitcoin to the world and redefining how we think about money and trust. Think of this video as your guide to understanding Bitcoin from its core concepts to its real-world impact. We'll explore why Bitcoin was created, how it works, and the revolutionary ideas behind its design. Using simple analogies and examples, we'll unpack this white paper so you can understand why Bitcoin is called digital gold. By the end of this video, you'll understand Bitcoin is not just digital money, but as a tool to challenge traditional financial systems and empower individuals worldwide. Let's dive in. To understand Bitcoin's purpose, let's start with the problem it solves. Traditional financial systems rely on trust in intermediaries like banks, payment processors, and governments. These institutions handle transactions, but they also come with limitations and risks. For example, when you send money through a bank, you're trusting it to process the payment fairly, keep your data secure, and not freeze your account. But what happens when that trust is broken? Banks can fail, impose unfair fees, or even block your transactions. Now imagine sending money across borders. The process can be slow, expensive, and filled with red tape. It's like trying to mail a letter through a maze of gates and tolls, each charging a fee along the way. Satoshi Nakamoto proposed a radical solution. A peer-to-peer -peer system where people can send money directly to each other without relying on intermediaries. Think of it like passing a note in class. No teacher or middleman involved. This idea solves a critical problem called double spending. In the digital world, files can be copied endlessly, but Bitcoin ensures that every coin is unique and can only be spent once. It's like having a digital coin that disappears from your pocket when you hand it to someone else. Now let's get into the mechanics. How does Bitcoin actually work? At its core is a technology called the blockchain, a decentralized, tamper-proof ledger that records every Bitcoin transaction. Imagine you're playing Monopoly with friends, and every move, every rent payment, property purchase, or chance card is recorded in a shared notebook. Once a page is full, it's locked and added to a stack. This stack is your blockchain. In Bitcoin, this notebook isn't stored in one place. It's distributed across thousands of computers worldwide called nodes. Each node has a copy of the blockchain, ensuring no single person or entity can control it. Think of it like a public library where everyone has the same book and updates it simultaneously. When you send Bitcoin, your transaction is bundled with others into a block. But before this block is added to the chain, it must be verified through a process called mining. Here's where it gets interesting. Mining is like solving a giant Sudoku puzzle. Miners compete to solve this puzzle, and the first to succeed gets to add the block to the chain. As a reward, they receive newly minted Bitcoin. This is how new coins enter circulation. But why does this process matter? Mining ensures that the blockchain is secure. To tamper with a transaction, someone would have to redo all the puzzles for every block in the chain, a nearly impossible task requiring enormous computing power. In Bitcoin, trust isn't placed in people or institutions. It's placed in math and cryptography. Every transaction is verified, Every block is linked to the one before it, and every participant plays by the same rules. So, what gives Bitcoin its value? According to Satoshi's white paper, Bitcoin's design addresses several key factors that create value in money. First, scarcity. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. Compare this to fiat currencies like the US dollar, which governments can print endlessly. Bitcoin's fixed supply makes it like digital gold. It's rare, and rarity creates value. Second, security. Bitcoin transactions are secured by the blockchain, making them nearly impossible to forge or alter. Think of it like having a digital safe that only you can open. But the safe is also guarded by a network of thousands of computers. 
Third, decentralization. Bitcoin isn't controlled by any government, corporation, or central authority. It's like a giant global co-op where everyone has equal power and no one can cheat the system. And finally, portability. Bitcoin is borderless. You can send it to anyone, anywhere in the world, within minutes. No banks, no middlemen, just peer-to-peer -peer transactions. It's like sending an email, but instead of words, you're sending value. The Bitcoin white paper also touches on potential challenges and limitations. Let's explore these in detail. First, scalability. Bitcoin's network can process around seven transactions per second. Compare this to Visa, which handles thousands per second. It's like having a two-lane highway for a growing city. It works now, but congestion is inevitable. Second, volatility. Bitcoin's price can swing wildly. One day it might buy you a car, the next it might only buy a bicycle. While this excites investors, it makes Bitcoin less practical as everyday money, at least for now. Third, energy consumption. Mining requires a lot of electricity, leading to criticism about its environmental impact. However, many miners are turning to renewable energy, making the process more sustainable. Despite these challenges, Satoshi's white paper lays out a foundation that is flexible and adaptable. Over time, solutions like the Lightning Network are addressing scalability, and growing adoption is helping stabilize Bitcoin's value. In conclusion, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, isn't just a white paper. It's a roadmap for a financial revolution. By solving the problems of trust, inflation, and centralization, Bitcoin offers a decentralized alternative to traditional money. While Bitcoin isn't perfect, it has already reshaped how we think about value and money. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, there's no denying its impact on technology and finance. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the Bitcoin white paper. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more deep dives into fascinating topics. Until next time, stay curious.